before we continue coding we need to do uh, some configuration in Contentful as you can see here I'm already logged in and the creation of the account in Contentful is very simple so we want to be going through that and this is the home page this is the first thing uh, you will see as you can see here I have a list of spaces already created and the space is basically uh, the main container of your uh, content for our website uh, we need to create a new space so let's go to the spaces drop down and then click add new space we will name it website you can name it whatever you want and you have two options here you can create an empty space uh, or you can um, create a space based on a template that uh, content already provided so as you can see there's a blog photo gallery and a product catalog um, if you want some uh, content to uh, to start with but for our case we'll be creating a, an empty space and let's hit create space now we have our space first thing as you can see here we need to define the structure of our content so we hit create content type okay uh, for uh, our blog we need a post which is basically uh, the, the content model of our uh, articles how it should look like and an author and a, a post will be uh, actually uh, holding one author so uh, first we need to create an author and then hit create and for each content module we need to define fields uh, for uh, our author we need uh, one field of type text we call it uh, full name and uh, automatically the ID of it will be uh, full name uh, camel case this will be very useful later when we try to grab the content from contentful it's short text and then we hit create Next, we need uh, a text also, but this time it's a long text, and this is the bio of uh, the author, which is some description uh, about the author, what he's doing, and so on. We hit create, and also we will need um, another text uh, field, this time for the website, so we call it website. create and then uh, also we will need an avatar so this will be a media and then we call it avatar and then we hit create uh, let's save this and go back to the list of our content model as you can see we have only author now let's add the post we click add content type this time we call it post and then uh, create so uh, a blog uh, post will be uh, um, will have uh, first the title it will be a short text and then we should hit create now let's add uh, the content so it will be like text but long text and then we call it content and then we hit create also uh, we will need a reference field to our author so we click reference and then we call this author and then uh, but it's only one reference and then here we need to configure this to limit it only uh, to, to one to uh, a type of author and then we hit save we need uh, a date field and this will be called publish date we hit create and we need a, a media type type of field which will be uh, called uh, feature image 
and uh, we hit create and then uh, we click save so uh, let's review now we have like two uh, content types uh, post which have title content and author which is a reference to the content type author a published date and featured image uh, maybe later we need more but for now this is enough and then we have an author with the full name, bio, uh, website, and an avatar. These fields will be used later in the code to uh, pull in the content. Uh, 